Hello YouTube, in this video we will take a look at the Big3 Tech SKR3 EZ. This board was sent to me by Big3 Tech, so um, I didn't bought this, I want to make it clear. In this video I will do just a review of this board, maybe a little teardown, we will take a look at the microscope and uh, if you want to see uh, installment of this board I will make another video for that. So without further ado, let's just open the box and see what's inside. I already opened it just to take that duck out to make a video. We've seen a start. And um, Victory Tech sent me this board with, with easy drivers. So what do we have in the package? Let's start with that. The first thing that separates um, other boards from this one. They actually included um, the connectors, which is actually super nice, considering that each time you install a new board, you have to put together wiring. The next piece is USB B cable to USB. So I'm not sure why Big Tech decided to use USB B most of the boards at this time they uh, release with USB-C that's still questionable that's that's pretty much it for that little black box inside the next uh, part are those EZ2209 drivers it's a new kind of like cartridge type connector I would like to big 3 actually make a comment down below um, I've seen their products, all of the products they make are on a GitHub, like an open source. But I've been trying to search for a license and I'm not sure if other manufacturers can actually make those drivers using the information big Tech has in their repository. Because if not, it's kind of proprietary way and I'm not a huge fan of it. One of the features this board has is a canvas. In this case, it allows actually use small board in more complex printers because you pretty much no longer need one extra driver for running an extruder. And what you can do, you can use one of the boards with actual extruder driver on them and running whole setup with fans and everything through the canvas. Also very beneficial because you can use pretty much four, four to five wires to uh, run whole tool head. Let's uh, open the board. It actually has a little package opener here. One of the concerns I had about those drivers when I seen them first, uh, first time, is, is it really easy to mess up and put it differently? So what Big Tree Tech actually uh, have here is a little key up here, so it does not allow you to put it the wrong way, which is super nice because they state that those drivers supposed to overcome the problem of people damaging the drivers and the board putting the drivers wrong way or incorrectly so that's what we have um, compared to when the driver actually installed you can you can see it slower almost flush with the power connectors this board has a very interesting feature that allows you actually to pass through motors power and now you can use up to 48 volts to run motors which is also very nice if you want to go like a bigger motors setup or speed printing TFT connector allows us to connect Raspberry Pi via UART interface and uh, pretty much use one cable to power it and avoid using separate power supply for the Raspberry Pi but one of the issues I had with this connector, it's not providing enough current to run Raspberry Pi 3B with a camera. I mean, I probably ask too much. Raspberry Pi 3B is very uh, power hungry board, so it's kind of expected. I think that might be a step to improve this board or future boards that Big 3 Tech produces. This board has the opportunity to install ESP model, Wi-Fi model to run, let's say, RepRap firmware with wireless capabilities. We also have headers to install DC model that will run your fans on specific voltage you want. 
it is very nice to see each pin actually um, has a pin out right on the bottom of the board so you don't have to look at the schematics and everything but i have to say big three tech has all the information about this board in their github repository i will share the link by my opinion big three tech boards one of the products on the market out there that has an amazing documentation super easy to follow and easy to use so take a look very important to have it when you installing this board now uh, let's try to open the driver and see what's inside of it regular and two screw i guess easy it is oh it's actually been uh, just glued and thermal glue both sides of the driver tmc 2209 la and that heatsink actually uh, very interesting don't think it's optimal i think big three touch can use some uh, work on it or do some work on it because if you can uh, look closer this part of the heatsink doesn't really touch the chip the heatsink definitely needs some rework otherwise i have feeling those drivers will overheat now let's take a board under the microscope i will take out uh, the drivers yeah, this one is stuck there very deeply under the microscope you can actually see that contact point for the drivers is not that big i'll take the port under the microscope and you will be able to see basic components it actually will be maybe helpful for someone to have up close shots hope you're not going to knock off anything or work out so here you can see the ports card slots for the drivers fan connectors and everything around the fans DC module slot the card reader soldering is actually really good I, I'm very surprised this board is clean not really a lot of super crooked components and everything it's very quality board here's the the heart of the motherboard our stm32 and other side also is very impressive and i guess it's pretty much it for this board you will see more of this into the next videos again installed in under 3 and thank you very nice